today's video i am going to show you how we can work with sharepoint online site swap part so without further delay let me just open my sharepoint site you can see here this is the sharepoint site where we will build a first we'll create a site page so i'll go to pages you can go and create here site page or if you are there in the home page you can click on new and then click on page and select the blank layout and then click on create page button so once you click on create page button i'll give the name as sites web part uh, you can see it here uh, i will just make it a capital and i'll publish it so once you publish it you will see here this is the site page got created and here we can edit click on this edit button and we will be able to add our web part so the default web part which is a text web part i will delete this web part here if you are new to the channel uh, i'm bj a microsoft mvp in sharepoint and if you are not subscribed yet to the channel subscribe to the channel you will get a lot of free videos on microsoft 365 sharepoint microsoft power platform all these videos you will get it free regularly so here i will first add a two section two column layout and in the first layout you can see here i will search for sites and you can see here there is the sites web part the last one you can see so once you click it you can give a name for it for example i will say my sites something like this you can give a title for this and then you can see here edit button so once you click on edit button you can choose from various options like a site web part uh, allows us to show sites associated with a hub site or the current users recent uh, sites which the current user or the logged in user, uh, logged in user is working or any specific site also we can be able to show it so in this case if you'll see here uh, if i will just choose the first option frequent sites for the current user you can see and up to eight i am showing it here uh, you can show a grid view also you can show this way a uh, grid view or you can even show in a compact list you can see this way so film strip is coming like this and you can choose all the options from here so this is about the frequent site of the logged in user i'll click on republish in this case you can see here internal site learn microsoft 365 another site rena technology mac so these are the sites which i am working if i will just open another site uh, uh, sorry on the same site with a log with a different user now you can see here this is the logged in user is user 2 and if i'll go to the pages i will go to that particular web part page or the sorry search site page you can see here now this user is working on different sites so this is this logged in users recent sites for which they are working and that is the reason you will see different options on this now i'll go to uh the my logged in my logged in user you can see here this this one i'll click on edit and we will see some other options on this i'll click on edit here uh let me just change the section to one column layout so that we'll have a bigger things where we can see it i'll click on edit icon just to edit the web part and the second option you will see here the select sites so in this case in this case you can see here if you have select any sites you can display those things also for example i want to show only these sites uh, so i can uh, select these sites and you can display it you can see here a uh, recent sites also it will show you recent sites from here so you can also choose sites uh um, you know frequent site it is showing here and you can choose uh, you can choose from that apart from that you can also search by a title or you can search uh, by putting the url so you can display those sites as well so in this case you can see here uh, this four site we have selected and if i want to select one more site also i can uh, select this one you can see here now it will show me five uh, sites on this i'll republish it so in this in this case you can see here uh internal learn microsoft 365 rena technologies ev these are the sites let me go to the logged in user site i will just refresh this page so this is you can see this is on a different user this is logged in user um is two you can see here we will see how things are appearing here on this particular site now you can see for this user also you can see internal site learn microsoft 365 so learn and technology ep so these are basically the sites which we have selected instead of taking from the recent sites from the from the logged in user 
Now here, what I will do is I will just show you that uh, whenever you will use this web part, by default, it will show the name of the site and then the link to the site and also recent activities or the latest activities it will show you uh, whenever you will see in this view. Uh, if you change the view, obviously the things will change a little bit on this. Suppose I'll edit this. If I will want uh, the grid view, then you will see the same way, but the compact view will only show you the uh, the title and the link. Uh, you can click on that. It will go to the, uh, the particular site. So, but if you choose the other view, it will show you name of the, uh, you know, site, link to the site and uh, the latest activities from that particular site. So this is how we can use uh, the sites web part. And if you want a similar kind of video, subscribe to our channel. You will get a lot of free videos on Microsoft 365 technologies, especially in SharePoint Online, Microsoft 365, uh, Power Pla Microsoft Power Platform and SPFX. So thank you and have a nice day.